The National Indoor Stadium on the north side of Beijing, beautifully lit up for this nighttime game. And lighting up the stadium on the inside has been the Chinese national team throughout this para ice hockey competition. Chinese a perfect three wins out of three in Group B. They have a rematch in the qualifying finals today against the Czech Republic. The Czechs with six points out of a possible nine in Group B action. They feel like they can compete with the Chinese, but having lost by five goals to two in their second game here at Beijing 2022, it's going to be quite a difficult task if they want to reach the semifinals. Well, the Chinese, one of the best teams in the tournament, certainly one of the fastest teams in the tournament. Can the Czechs hope to contain this amazing offensive output here in this game today? And it might rely on that man, Michael Kudela, who was injured earlier in the tournament. We were a bit surprised to see him back in the lineup because it looked like he was pretty banged up. So if he can be as good as he can be, then that could be very important for the Czechs. And early moments of periods could be very significant because China seems to strike within seconds of puck drop. They scored after only 11 seconds of the second period in a five goal outburst in the second against the Czechs when these teams met a few days ago. Martin Kudela had his hand run over by a sled skate in that game against the Chinese but he is preferred to Mikhail Vapenka in goal by the Goaltending coach who's serving as the head coach of the Czech Republic, Jakob Novotny, and it's Ji Yan Zhao again back between the pipes for Team China. I'm going to be watching very closely at the line combinations in this one and see who the Czechs use against the uh, top line of China. See our refereeing crew, the Norwegian o Ove Lutke is our referee, David Notegger and Tony Rundstrom are two linesmen, and there is the People's Republic of China team so much speed and watch out particularly for Shen Yi Fong number 17. Yeah and his line mate number eight Wang Zhidong those two are a dynamic duo together but they do have other weapons 23-2 uh, Hu Tao the captain is dangerous as well and they also can attack from defense. See their head coach Nikolai Sharshikov. he led his countrymen in 2014 in his home Paralympic Games in Sochi. And here is the team he's going to have to come up against the Czechs. They have some weapons, but maybe not quite the speed of the Chinese. Well, young Alex O'Har, number 19, is going to be uh, on centering the line that's going to go against the, uh, the Shen Yi Fang line. So that's going to be interesting. Václav Hetchko will be there as well, number 33, on that line. And if they can do any kind of a significant job of shutting down that mighty line, then this could be a good game. Jakob Novotny filling in for the great Yiri Brija, legendary figure in Czech para hockey, who has not made the trip to Beijing for this tournament. And we mentioned Ji Yan Zhao. He had a shutout against the Slovaks on day one of the tournament. Stopped only six of eight Czech shots when these teams faced off against each other previously. And Kudela, he was yanked from the game after stopping only eight of 12 Chinese shots in the first and second period. It's going to be interesting to see. Uh how the Czech Republic does this because uh, they get to see this team twice. They get to watch the video, try to isolate it. They did a nice job against China in the first period and in the third period. And you could even say in half of the second period, uh, it was it was those crucial first five to seven minutes of the second period. Uh, and their coach even said as much, uh, Jakub Novotny said, uh, we overslept in the second period and uh, that cost us the game. Zdenek Krupichka quoted after the Slovakian win says China's a very good team but we can win this game if we play how we need to. That's their attitude as both teams at center ice ready to rumble in the qualifying finals. Puck is dropped. The Czechs in the white jerseys. The Chinese in their black and red kits. Retreating into his own corner is Zhu Zhan Fu, one of their defensemen in this contest. Chinese miscontrolling the puck, swooping is Philip Vesely to pick up, but he's knocked on his backside. Czechs want to keep the puck at this end as much as possible if they can. Spinning around is the youngest player in the tournament, Philip Vesely, the 16-year-old for the Czechs. But the Chinese able to take possession, the long outlet pass, and that could be the strategy again. Shen Yi Feng furthest forward, and look at how quickly he swoops into the near side corner. 
Shen though crunched there by Ohar. And his first Paralympic Games. The shot there just fired wide by Wang Zhidong. First effort toward the net. Not on target, but here's Shen again behind the cage. Passes into the far corner. Czechs are going to have to be physical and try and bump as many Chinese skaters off their stride as they can. So Wang Zhidong drops in the corner. The centering pass is covered up. Zhu playing toward the front of the net. But Martin Kudela able to flop on top. And it's uh, been good to see as well. Radix Zelenka is back in the lineup. You see a number 15 uh, for the Czech Republic. He was injured earlier in the tournament, missed a game. He's back, and he could play an important role on the blue line for the team in white. Both teams dressing multiple defensemen. The Chinese with five. The Czechs only with four. They're skating three full forward lines. Is sweeping to control the puck. Mikhail Geyer, but just miscontrols below the goal line. Geyer in his fourth Paralympic Games as the pass comes out in front. The Czechs with a chance. Puck in the low slot, and the Chinese just able to scrape it away from danger briefly. But picking up is Havel. Drops off for Geyer, who is dispossessed. Kubej pinched in from the point. The Czechs just able to keep it the line through Geyer, but now China with a head of steam coming forward. Puck is dropped off for Liu Ji, but now coming back to Chang Jin Tao with two goals, including a shorthanded tally against the Czechs in this tournament. China forward. Trying to generate something is Hu Guangjian. Leaves along the near side boards. Stick battle was spun down to the ice with Xian. And the Czechs regain possession and now Vesely far side in his own zone. Vesely just chips forward. Very quick, two and a half minutes of this first period in the books. It was well worked by the Chinese at their own line to Zhu Fu. He spins around. Passes backward, now forward from Zhu Jinxiang. Now delayed offside against the Czechs briefly. Well, interesting, the Czechs have already gone back to the line that started the game, so already shortening the bench to two lines. Vesely a crunching hit, and that's going to be offside against the Chinese. And that surely has to be how the Czechs must play this game, restrict the space for the Chinese as much as possible. You would think so, right? You get a speedy team like that, you try to kind of encourage them to go one way, kind of track them as it were onto that side of the ice, get a little bit physical with them. But uh, interesting how coach uh, Sharshuskov is uh, basically rolling his three lines and the Czechs are ready, just going with a two line system. Surely they can't hope to do that for the full 45 minutes, the three 15 minute periods in para ice hockey. Xu Jin Shang plays forward, but Kubesh picks up. Pavel Kubesh, the Czech captain. He's been playing para ice hockey since 2005. Oh! By Shui Song, deep to the puck by Havel for the Czech Republic. He drops back nicely for Geyer. Geyer plays to Kubesh, who shoots, but it was deflected high and wide. And in fact, all the way up over the glass and out of play. But a good snapshot there for Pavel Kubesh. Well, no shots on goal rep recorded yet by the Czech Republic, but I'm impressed by the way they've started with some pace, with uh, some energy. They've had some offensive zone time, and here they get rewarded with a shot. Geyer this time plays the playmaker, and Kubesh's shot, if it's not blocked, then uh, it's going to be tough for Ji uh, Zhao to stop it. So Pichka centers in front and quickly swept to the near side boards by Hu Guangjian. Liu Ji now retreating into his own corner over skates. Good check pressure in the early stages of this first period. Now the Chinese look to break out. It's rolled away from Hu. Thanks out to center ice. Picking up there is Pavel Dolezal for the Czechs. And knocked on by Zdenek Kruchpichka, who's on a two-game goal-scoring streak. Had an assist against the Italians and scored against the Chinese, and then in the 3 0 win against Slovakia to end group B action for the Czech Republic. He was trapped in deep in the Chinese zone, so the Czechs had to hold up at the line. But now Kubej forward, ramming into Hu Guangzhou, but that's perfectly fine. Possession of the puck now tied up one against two. Liu Ji's had a very good defensive performance in his first international tournament. 20-year-old for China in the number three sweater. Knocks out the center. 
And in fact, goes Havel to his own blue line. Czech Republic's a program that's really been building, hosting the last two world championships. The, uh, we hear they have a lot of fans that have been following the sport. And they've put together a nice squad for this tournament again. John Fu picks up for the Chinese who do not have their usual supporters section in the National Indoor Stadium for this game. I think they may have thought, the Chinese fans, that the first of the two games today was the one that they should be at. There were a lot of fans for that other qualifying final as the Czechs getting a couple of shots toward the Nets. The Chinese trying to swiftly counterattack. Forward comes Wang Zhidong. He's knocked at the check line. Again, good check defensive play and a big hit as well. And now an interception, a race for the puck. It's going to be Ohar taking up along the left wing. Looking behind himself for support and drops the puck off instead of trying to maneuver solo toward the Nats. Ooh, and this is dangerous. Here come the Chinese. It's Wang and Shen. Shen furthest forward. He's tied up. The puck trickles into the goal, but is this going to be a penalty shot? A penalty has been called. I don't see the signal for a penalty shot, but there it yes. is. It has been called. The Chinese with 927 left in the first are going to have a penalty shot in this game. Wow, that's a really interesting call because I thought it was shoulder contact. And we'll get to see it on the replay, no doubt, but penalty shot. No score yet, but a penalty shot about to come. Yeah, and uh, well, when that guy, that guy being Shen Yufeng gets going, that's what you want him to do. You want to hit him and have him away from the puck, but when he gets open ice, he can do some damage. There you see Shen Yi Feng. He had a penalty shot against the Czechs, which he failed to convert in the 5 2 win for China. Just waiting for the break in play to conclude before the penalty shot is taken. Nervous moments here for the Chinese, but now it's Shen Yi Feng, the penalty shot to be taken against Martin Kudela. Shen fakes, shoots. Oh, the save is made by Kudela! What a moment for the Czech Republic to keep this game still scoreless. What a save. It looked like the play was over. It was going to be in the net. He stick handles with the right, with the right, holds, holds, holds. Little cut with the skate. Oh, what a save. Incredible. I mean, Dominic Hasek would have been proud of that save. A great Czech goaltender who helped the Czechs win the Olympic hockey gold medal back in 1998. As the faceoff draw won by the Chinese, so we skate five on five. Chinese still with attack zone pressure, that's Shen far side, but he's now 0 for 2 on penalty shots against the Czechs, as Wang was bumped. Puck all the way back as far as the Chinese line. And that really getting the juices flowing at the National Indoor Stadium. Zhu Jinchang drops off. Chinese coming forward through Zhu Fu, and then another Czech hit inside the Chinese zone, and that should be icing as the pass missed Kui Yu Tao, and back first to the puck was Pavel Kubesh. Well, you mentioned another hit, and again, the hit was directed at Shen Yu Feng. They want him to know, if you're going to blaze around the ice here, you're going to feel it. We're going to make you feel it. So, two shots on goal for China, none thus far for the Czech Republic, but it has, apart from the penalty shot, been a pretty even contest thus far. Czechs have had shooting opportunities. They just haven't tested Ji Yan Zhao in the Chinese net thus far. The faceoff will come to the left of Ji. Draw sticks in the circle. He's going to dig it free. Trying to prize it out from underneath the Chinese skater, and it does fall kindly for Hechko. The puck in the slot, it's going to be picked up first by Zhu Zhanfu. And Zhu, the far side of the ice, he's bumped by Vesely. Two or three players watching Shen Yu Fang out near center. Delayed offside, so the Czechs vacate the zone, trying a little bit of space. And another crunching hit on Zhu. That was Hetchko again. 
Chinese low now, some space. There's Wang Zhidong. He's all alone on his left hand. He scores! Wang Zhidong! There's the first goal for the Chinese. Their supporters going crazy. 1 0 to the hosts at the National Indoor Stadium. Well, what was interesting is Ohar, their number 19, was watching Shen Yufang all along, and he forgot about Wang, and he had a path to the net and did that. And that's what you talk about. A moment of hesitation, a little bit of sleepiness for the Czechs in defense. That's what the Czechs were talking about that they must not do in this game, and that there they do it. And swooping to score, Wang Zhidong, the one assist to Kui Yu Tao at the 648 mark of this first period. Well, they're asking a lot of an 18 year old Alex O'Hara to watch the fastest player in the tournament. He makes one tiny little error, and the puck's in the net. Have to play all 45 minutes with the same defensive intensity as the Chinese ice the puck. With an even eight minutes left in the first. Puck comes back into the Chinese zone for another face-off draw, but they won't mind. That may give them a chance to accelerate from zero to 60. One end of the ice to the other. They're that kind of team, aren't they? They really love to get a little bit of open ice and just fly. Important to the Czechs win as many face-off draws as possible, but that one goes back to Hu Guangjian. Four goals in the previous two B-level World Championships combined. And that could be icing. Can Kubesh win the race? He can't, but Kudela taking no chances and covering the puck up at the side of his cage. Well, Cadella was mad at himself after that goal. He thought he should have had it, but you get a player like that coming down with speed, and uh, Wang just finished it off and made no mistake about it. I for a second thought it hit the goalpost, but you clearly had a better, a better view of where it landed and came straight back at it. That's what fooled me. Well, he can put the puck in the net, certainly Wang Jidong had eight goals and 13 assists at the World Championship. B level tournament last year and in this tournament already now three goals and five assists making this competition look like the B level worlds in large measure with the 7 nothing win over the Slovaks 5 2 over the Czechs 6 nothing over the Italians and it's back into his own corner of view he's crunched that's Hedgeko again with the heavy sled contact it's not teeing, he's not leading with the front of his sled, using it as an offensive weapon. But there, the pass, that's again the Chinese tactic, just from the wrong side of the red line to touch, so that'll be icing once more, but you see just how much the Chinese love the open ice. Yeah, they like to use the speed, they uh, really dig in with those, you know, the sticks that have the uh, sharp ends on the one side. Let's take a look again at that goal by Wang. So Kudela knows that the other guy on the rush is the most dangerous player in the tournament, Shen Yi Fang. So he's kind of playing a bit over to that side. I think that's why he's mad at himself. Having to stop a two on one against Wang and Shen, probably the toughest task in Beijing at the moment, is that shot just wiped wide by Miroslav Novotny. Centering pass, Havel's got that to shoot at, but getting back across, Yi to make the save with the puck, Luffy score! Mikhail Geyer sweeps up the garbage in the low slot, and the Czechs have tied this game up at one goal apiece. Well, probably the niftiest player on the Czech Republic, the man who was the, the MVP of the World Championships a couple years ago, he arrives late, and look how quickly he pivots to snap that one in past G. What a great play by Geyer. Might have been a little bit of luck. I think it might have just come off Liu Ji and trickled underneath G Yan Zhao, the Chinese goaltender. No, it actually popped up over G. So you got to take advantage of the breaks and the checks with two quick shots on goal. The first one saved. The second one in from Geyer. At the 8.06 mark of the first, and what a difference that makes to the complexion of this game. Very eagerly awaited qualifying final 
Could the Czechs yet get their revenge on the Chinese? That's the goal they desperately needed, but the Chinese maybe with a chance in front, and the one-timer just whiffed upon by Kui Yutao, the Chinese captain. He's still buzzing in the Czech zone, but Dolajal able to drop off, and Ohar out as far as center ice. Quickly back in, the goal scorer, Wang Zhidong for China, and that'll just trickle into Kudela. And the whistle blows with 6.24 left in the first. Yeah, it's been a fun start so far, hasn't it? Great action on both sides. And so close for uh, Q. Yu Tao. Let's see. Martin Cordella knows he has to concentrate for the duration of this game. An assist has now been given, you see, to Zdenek Hobble, who took the first shot for the Czech Republic there on the Geyer goal. And Michael Geyer, his third goal of this tournament, his 10th career Paralympic goal. Ooh, and nearly rushing forward, Hetchko for the Czechs, but picked up at center ice by Hu. Chinese, ooh, and again, a big contact, Kubesh leading the sled of Zhang Zhang just outside the Czech line. That was, <laughs> I was just kind of caught me. Oh, there was a Chinese interception there and nearly a shot on target, but it just went wide to the corner. That was taken by the man chasing back to center ice, Song Zhao Dong. Yet to get on the score sheet in this tournament, Song. As the puck now back towards Carol Wagner. Wagner drops off. Interception by Song at center ice, but had to delay entry into the Czech zone so the Czechs can counterattack. The Czech sled lions, as they like to be known. Hatchko lost out. Swiveling at center ice is Zhu. Hither and thither away from Hetchko. Nice pass far side. But again, the contact from Vesely. Vesely hasn't had his shooting boots on, you might say, in this tournament. But apart from that, he's been very impressive. Just the one assist against the Chinese. On the score sheet thus far in the tournament. But 4.52 left in the first period. The Czechs giving as good as they have been getting. Yeah, indeed, and with a couple of teenagers contributing, you just mentioned Vesely, here's the other one, Ohar, and he seems like he's gotten better throughout the tournament. Ohar, 18 years of age, the Prague native, and ooh, the Czechs with a player racing forward, that was Novotny, now he takes the pass, but miscontrol at the line, that should be offside, and will be after the Czech touch-up. With 4.27 left in the first period, the opening goal from Wang Zhidong canceled out by the response from Michal Geyer. It's China 1, the Czech Republic 1 in the second qualifying final. Well, there was a, a situation there where a player looked like he was getting, we used to call it getting caught in the, in the trolley tracks. And I just kind of gasped because it looked like it was going to be a thundering hit. But it's amazing how, how quickly you can, when you see that coming, even if it's at the last moment, you can just get out of the way. A little bit. There's the Chinese goal. Scored by Wang Zhidong. And then Havel's effort, which led to Geyer's Pick up and score with a little bit of puck luck. Goal scorers get that. You, the more you practice, the luckier you get, I think. That's right. The old saying. I've heard it attributed to Gary Player, the golfer, but I'm sure it's been said in many sports in many different contexts. Back at the National Indoor Stadium. One goal apiece. Been precious few games in this tournament in which both teams have scored. I have to look back, but it may be the first game in which both teams have scored in the first period. As swooping in Shen into the corner. This time he absorbs the hit, but the pass comes to Novotny instead of one of his Chinese teammates. Novotny, is that going to go down the length for an icing? I don't think it will. That's probably weighted. As Hobble in with a crunching hit. Centers out to Kubesh, a chance here for Kubesh. Onto his left hand, can't release though. The Chinese committing a penalty might be teeing there as Kubesh absorbing a pretty firm hit. 
And it is a teeing call. The Czechs are going to go on the power play. Chance to possibly take their first lead of the game. Yeah, let's see if we can see what happens here. Kubes does everything right except eventually get a shot away. And then, boom, there was the teeing call by uh, Wong right there. That's dangerous. That's why that's a penalty. And that's textbook, really, as far as look at the old picture in the dictionary of a team penalty that would be it leading with the sled making firm contact with your opponent like that so the Czechs one for ten on the power play in the tournament they scored against the Italians in their first game in group B but not since so Linka off the face off win to the point Dolajal it finds Ohar but his shot fired well wide Leslie racing to the far side boards Look out to the point, and here come the Chinese. They have four shorthanded goals in the tournament thus far. Zhu, though, not sure what he was trying to do with that puck off the sideboards. He checks able to regain possession. Then you see the Chinese penalty kill, how good it's been. They've scored more goals, four more goals, than they've conceded when shorthanded in the competition thus far. And two of those shorties came against the Czech Republic as Ohar knocked off of his edge. Up to the far corner, Vesely decides not to race for it, and Dolajal does well, so Vesely can pick up the puck. Vesely just let the puck roll away from him, but able to push back up top. Checks just able to keep inside the Chinese zone, maneuver nicely to Ohar. He's got some space to fire, but the glove save easily enough, made by Ji Yan Xiao. You mentioned uh, how dangerous China is. I almost feel like Shen Yufang is more dangerous on the penalty kill than at any other point in the game. Because he just relishes that open ice. But boy, this young man has really impressed me. 18-year-old Alex Ohar this whole tournament. Plays for Sparta Prague. Had his left leg amputated at the age of eight on account of osteosarcoma or bone cancer. Czech's able to win another face-off draw, but the Chinese push forward. Chinese have been so good at face-off draws in the tournament, especially Wang Zhidong in the number eight sweater, their goal scorer. He has been up over 70 or 80 percent in face-off wins as Shen now picks up the puck, and here he comes shorthanded. You can almost sense the terror in the Czech player's eyes as least that rush was interrupted. Geyer might be stripped of the puck. You see the nuisance that Shen can make of himself in the opposing zone, even when shorthanded. Down to 27 seconds left on this check power play. The long shot comes well wide to the corner, but right from the correct side of the red line. So the Czechs and Kubes able to pressure. But the Chinese nicely saucered down the ice there. And that will just about do it for the Czech power play. Well, Michael Geyer is impressive too. It seems like he's he's an older player who's gotten better and better through the tournament. And now when they need him the most, it seems like he's having uh, maybe his best game. Vesely twisting and turning, but just knocked off the puck. As out of the box comes Wang Jidong. Full strength we skate with 145 left in the first. Big sledge battle in front of the Chinese bench area, but the hosts pick the puck up again. Knocked on only as far as Dolajal. Pedro Dolajal in his second Paralympic winter games. Nice pass from Hetchko there. Vesely. He saw an opening to the net, but there defensively you see the speed matters at the other end of the ice for Shen Yifeng. Shen slides along far side. The Chinese slowly coming forward this time. The pass is to Wang, but he was forced to pivot at the check line to stay on side. Vesely swallows Wang up. Approaching the final minute of the opening period. Chan Jin Tao is in a shooting position. He fires it, just misses the far post. Nearly 2 1, but Kudela not tested this time. Just the three shots apiece in the opening period. That, in and of itself, is a moral victory for the Czech Republic. Chinese with 28, 21, and 25 shots on goal in their three group B contests in this tournament. The Czechs keeping the Chinese in check. No pun intended. Puck slid down the ice. Icing waved off with 26 seconds left in the first. Hatchko in. Swipes the puck, but have to be careful about those passes up top. Intercepted by Lee. Lee looking for Kui John Peng, but he takes a tumble. Checks controlling to Kubesh. Not the best pass. Away from Hetchko as well with five seconds left. Dolajal on. 
Fires long and hits the target. So that will go down as the fourth check shot of the first period. The Czechs, very impressive performance. 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard. The Chinese held to that one opening goal from Wang Dong, But the counter from Michal Geyer, his third goal of this tournament and 10th of his Paralympic career, keeps the sides all square at the end of 15 minutes of play. Very entertaining game at the National Indoor Stadium. Chinese know that they are in a battle to reach the semifinals. The top two teams in Group B in this qualifying final. It's China 1, the Czech Republic 1. Those stats from the first period hardly telling the story of a compelling pair ice hockey game at the National Indoor Stadium. Czechs not taking advantage of their power play. Chinese, you might say, not taking advantage of their shorthanded opportunity, as they did twice against the Czechs when these teams met each other in the group stage. But the two goals on the board, one for Wang Zhidong for China, one for Michal Geyer for the Czech Republic. The uh, first period highlights. Czech Republic strong early on. Geyer setting up this chance by Kubash. And I gave you a sense of uh, how feisty the Czechs were going to be in this game. And yes, it was physical. Team China coming in as the most penalized team in the tournament. And <laughs> there you go. Hetchko runs headlong into Shen Yu Fang. who then was uh, rewarded with a penalty shot for that play and wasn't able to score on it. Get another look at this one, just in case you didn't see it the first time. There's the penalty shot, and what a save. Incredible stop by M Mikhail Vapenka, maybe the best save of the tournament. Just the flexibility, the reach. Couldn't stop that chance though by one. That might have, uh, the penalty shot save maybe inspired his team a little bit because eventually the Czechs respond after the one goal. And some more heavy contact. Etchko right, right in the center of it all. Wagner set up this chance, then Hobble, and then Geyer finishes it off. Quick stick, gets a bit of puck luck. You gotta get it, goal scorers get it. And he gets it. And now the top angle. Just quickly with the right stick into open ice. Gets enough on it to carry it into the net. And we're all tied up at one after one period of play. And Vesely and Hetchko, all the uh, Czech players really intent on making this as physical as possible for the speedy Chinese team. Alex O'Har continuing to impress as well, the 18-year-old.
the beautiful skyline on the north side of Beijing City Center. Left side of the picture is the National Indoor Stadium. Just behind the graphic there is the Ice Cube where the wheelchair curling event taking place. And of course the famous bird's nest on the right of picture. That's where the opening and closing ceremonies for both the Olympic Games and the Paralympic Winter Games took place and are taking place with the qualifying finals at the para ice hockey rink taking place. This is the second of the two quarterfinals, if you will. The Chinese and the Czechs locked at one goal apiece. And I was walking around the concourse during that first intermission, bumped into a Czech journalist I've seen a few times, talking about how good a game it's been. And then he looked at me and said, we're going to win. Just like that. Not even, not even a hint of doubt in his mind. So that's the Czech mentality, I think, in this building right now. They are certainly playing with much more confidence, I think, than we've seen in any other contest in this game here against China. Well, they have had the chance to watch all the video they've wanted to watch, and I'm sure that makes a difference. They start to break down the other team's performance, uh, get the sense of how you might stop them, and then scoring that goal. I think the two key moments of that period were the save and the penalty shot, which was incredible, and scoring the goal. Just the fact that they managed to score the goal against a team like this to, to kind of halt China's forward momentum and, and change everything. Really important. Wang Zhidong scored the goal and committed Chinese penalty in that first period for Ting. So he's been in both halves of the score sheet thus far. Michael Geyer responding with the tally set up by the initial shot from Zdenek Havel. And I wonder what's going through the head of Nikolai Sharshikov. He's not been in a game quite like this. It was tied 1-1, or tied nothing-nothing, I should say, between these two teams in the group stage at the end of one period before the Chinese blitzed out with, I think, three goals in the first four minutes of the second period. So I'm sure that's been talked about by Jakob Novotny with his team. Well, and I think this is going to be the crucial moments here, the first uh, two, three, four, five seven minutes maybe of the second period. That's what Coach Novotny said. We have to play harder consistently. Remember he said we overslept in the second period against China. That five to seven minutes cost us the game. So they seem bound and determined to not let that happen again. And it was Shang Yifeng who scored only 11 seconds into that second period officially. I, I had a clock at nine seconds into the period just racing forward. And as he's wont to do, you see him just a moment with both teams ready to start this second period. Which way will the pendulum swing at the National Indoor Stadium in Beijing? Checks win the faceoff draw and puck dumped in. That's going to be icing straight away, so that's one way to stop the Chinese from getting forward momentum. To Give him a face-off draw in your own end of the ice. Interesting tactic. But you know, if you're confident in your own players, if you're confident in your own uh, system, and maybe they like Shen Yu Fang uh, when he's in tight quarters better than when he's got open ice to skate. Well, he was set up on that opening face-off in his, inside his own blue line, ready to just race forward. Wasn't able to do so off the check face-off win, but here the Chinese win the draw at the points. Well, Ju Jin Chang gave it right to the Czechs, but swooping quickly. And far side, Shen Yi Fong. He's in right wing. He thought about shooting from a sharp angle, but left the puck behind. Ohar was crashed. Shen picks up. Maneuvering into the faceoff ring, sliding across, looking for Wang Zhidong on the pass. Wang forced to divert into the corner. Now centers far side, just rolling away from Kui Yu Tao. Chinese captain, this first forward line of Wang, Shen, and Kui. So, so dangerous. And the relatively small Chinese support relative to what we've seen in other games. It's a bigger crowd for the other qualifying final today, not involving the Chinese. As race to the puck, Vesely loses out, covering his lines defensively, Zhu Fu. And the outlet pass comes to the near side boards, picking up his Shen. Drops off and then pass a little bit too far for Wang, but he'll persevere. A good defensive covering work there by Mikhail Geyer. The two goal scorers coming together. And then the Czechs clear the puck down the ice. Icing waved off as the 
Chinese gain possession to Zhu. Pass far side to Kui. Puck comes near side boards, Wang Zhidong. Crunched behind the backboards by Kubesh, the Czech captain, and the Czech's able to clear down the ice. And that's going to be icing against the Czech Republic. We're just under two minutes gone in this second period. I've been watching closely to see if uh, the Czech Republic is going with any sort of line matching. Other than to start the period against Sean Yufang, it doesn't really seem like they are. Uh, but obviously, they've made everyone aware of uh, how to proceed when he's on the ice and you're on the ice. Another face-off win for the Czechs. It's been a very important part of this game for them. The Chinese have won 60% of the face-offs in the game, but it's not near the rate they had had in other group B encounters here at Beijing 2022. Czechs able to negate the icing. Havel and Geyer together in that far corner. He's going to win the race to this puck. The Czechs do. Can they get a shot off? They can't. The puck's going to trickle off the side of the cage. As Liu Ji knocked down to the ice by Geyer, trying to fish the puck free. Chen, the slowest motion pass we've seen in the tournament to Havel below the goal line. Comes back out to the left point, Zelenka. Radek Zelenka, who scored on opening day against the Italians, did not play against the Slovaks in the final game for the Czechs in Group B. Miscontrol there in his own end by Tianjin Tao. So the Czechs can continue to pressure. Dolezal picks up. He might shoot from distance. Slides in front and then not sure if that could have been tipped on target the way that Hetchko was facing away from the goal. But still the Czechs so impressive here thus far in this second period and throughout this game. Vesely gave away though and Ohar heading in the wrong direction. A little nudge on Tian at center ice. Support from Bai Shui Song. And this should be offside to the Chinese must clear the check zone with 11.40 left in the second period. Dolezal gives away. Quick snapshot. That was blocked by one of the Czech defensemen. That's the kind of mistake they cannot afford to make as the puck in the near side corner. Ohar swooping to help out Vesely. Vesely knocks on to Dolezal. A little give and go by pinching from the point, but the Czechs out to center ice, and now we have a whistle and a penalty forthcoming. Another team call, I believe, and it's going to be against the Chinese, so another power play coming up, actually elbowing the signal, I think, against Bai Shui Song. Yeah, I didn't catch exactly how it, uh, uh, but there it is. Now I catch it. <laughs> Well, and Hetchko, of course, has been uh, the one who's been laying out the checks on the other end and or laying out the body checks. And now China looks to uh, reach out and touch someone in terms of him, and all of a sudden they're in the penalty box. Novotny trying to score him toward the front of the net off the face-off win. The Chinese look to clear as far as the near side boards. Novotny spinning around, but... The outlet pass, there's Wang, great pass from Shen. Wang shorthanded, shoots, but misses. There is the ever-present shorthanded threat from Team China. Chinese fans are starting to make a little bit of noise. Haven't had so much to cheer in this game thus far as it center ice, Havel. Havel with a route toward the net. Havel shoots on the ice, the save made by G. And the Chinese just able to clear out to center ice. Wagner crunched into the glass by the Czech penalty box. And Zhu Jin Chang into his own corner with plenty of space as the Czechs try and make a couple of changes. Puck banked forward all the way down the ice. Zelenka retreating. There's still 102 left in the Czech five on four. Far side Palat. Long outlet. Can Kropichka get there first? Just beats. Zhu to the hash mark, but Zhu picked up the puck. The Czechs now able to keep far side. Zelenka slides on for Raul. Raul shoots, and the glove save just made by Ji Yan Zhao. And rebound control kept the puck right at the edge of the crease, and he was able to cover. Really interesting uh, situation there. The coach of the Czech Republic puts his third line on during the power play. They haven't seen the ice a whole lot uh, with... Um, 
Rawl and Polat and Krupicka, but all of a sudden uh, puts them in that situation, which is sort of saying we're not expecting to score on this power play. <laughs> we're we're going to save our guys for even strength. It's an unusual dynamic to be sure. And Martin Kudela knows he must remain fully concentrating on the situation on the ice in a way that you might not see in other situations with your team on the power play. Of course, Jakob Novotny, the Czech coach there, he's normally the goaltending coach for the Czech Republic. Also serves as the Sparta Prague para hockey head coach. Filling in here as the head coach for his national side for Yuri Brizia. And the faceoff draw. 40 seconds left in the Czech power play coming to the right of Ji Yan Zhao. Czechs have at least dodged an early flurry here in the second period, but watch the speed of Shen. Shen goes right by Wagner, but the puck to the far corner and a penalty coming up against the Czech Republic. Shen is knocked into the corner. Habel picks up and the touch brings a whistle with 24 seconds left of what will now be four on four skating before the Chinese go on the power play. Again, it's that speed of Sean Yu Fang. Look at this. He races in and Wagner gets a penalty for basically knocking the stick out of his hands. I didn't quite catch how he did it, but he found a way to do it. They and they called teeing, so it must be with the front edge of the sled. Yes, yeah. So Again, we might call that a good penalty. <laughs> well, when you see Shen bearing down at you at full speed. It's a scary sight for any defenseman. Chinese win this face-off draw. Four on four, remember. Tight turn by Kui. Try to play to the front of the net. Make it the puck back. They score! Xian <laughs> Jin Tao. Four on four tally for the Chinese. They are back in front. 2-1. Yeah, they just attack so fast. And uh, Chun Jin Tao now has points in all four games in the tournament. So when everyone else's attention is on Shun Yu Fang, he says, pay attention to me, because I'm going to hurt you. Xian now has a five on five goal, a shorthanded goal, and a four on four goal in the tournament for China. And the sad situation for the Czechs is that. It was even strength, which means the Chinese power play will still be starting in another 14 seconds from now. And this is the danger moment for the Czech Republic. Must keep the Chinese in check. That was the first Chinese shot of the second period. They've been doing so well so far. But now the script has been flipped once again. Again, it's Krupichka on the ice with the Bottom line, maybe, seeing some more ice time here as the Chinese win the draw, and quickly Shen racing forward from his blue line, splitting the two defensemen, but just throwing a little bit wide on that. The puck in front, and where is it? It's just behind the net. Uh, Kudela at full stretch. As the Czechs clear, the Chinese now on the power play. And goal for Tian Jin Tao, assisted by Kui Yu Tao. At the 529 mark of the second gear, the Shen again motoring forward. Drops off for Wang. Wang shoots and misses high. Or rather, that was Yu Ji. If it had been Wang, I bet he wouldn't have missed high. Liu, the defenseman. Great shooting position. Another chance for the Chinese and sprawling Kudela, making life a little bit difficult there for Tian. Trying to score a second goal in rapid succession. Checks clear to center ice, and you can really sense the momentum building. For Team China in the National Indoor Stadium right now. Well, they call Shen Yufeng the little whirlwind, and you can just see it. It's not always that he's scoring or getting the chances, but he's really developed the skill of becoming a playmaker as well. Chinese again, forward to Wang. Touched on to Shen. He's got a two-on-one situation. Wang drops off for Shen, but just missed him. Not a tape-to-tape -tape pass, otherwise that easily could have been 3-1. With 26 seconds left in the 5-on-4 for China. Big hit at the left point, but still the Chinese in possession. Touched top of the rings, there's Wang. Can't dodge the attentions of Vesely. Good job there in the penalty kill for Philip Vesely. 
Wagner waiting to come out of the penalty box, but the Chinese still in control. Kui, left-handed shot along the ice, just touched into the side of the net by Wagner. Or I beg your pardon, by Kudela as Wagner is out of the penalty box. Vesely knocks the puck forward. That should be icing, but touching the puck up was G. Strange decision. The checks coming forward. Pass towards Habel. Knocks it along for Kubesh, but he was dispossessed well by the back checking Hu Guangjian. 7 12 left in the second period. The checks. They weathered the storm there. It might be a chance here, but the puck just away from Hetchko. Crashing the net as Shen was so far forward that pass couldn't possibly get to him in time. The checks maybe the other way. Opportunity for Novotny. Really opening up this game end to end right now as Ohar into the near side boards. Done. Hit against Zhu. It's a puck wrapped around to center ice. Sun Yufeng finally going off. That was probably a two and a half minute shift. No icing here as Zhu drops off. The checks quit the pounce though. But there, a little tangle. This could be an opportunity for China. But a penalty has been called behind the play against Zhu Zhan Fu, I believe. So with 6.30 left in the second period, Chuck's about to go on the 5 on 4 but they now trail two goals to one against the People's Republic of China. Yeah, just when the momentum seemed to be all China's way, Czech Republic gets uh, rewarded with a, a power play, and let's see if they can turn uh, turn things the other direction. Throwing a stick or any objects, the official penalty that's been called against Zhu Zhanfu. Here's the chance earlier for Liu Ji, just over the crossbar. Chinese still with just the five shots on goal in this game, but again, that could be very misleading sometimes. Yeah, they just keep developing uh, and building for chances, and they don't all hit the net. Sometimes they hit the side of the net, or they just miss the net, but they they make us raise our voices. Chinese fans in the National Indoor Stadium starting to raise their voices. With their team back in front. The checks with the manpower advantage. Wagner at the point. Battling very hard, making sure that the Chinese can't race forward shorthanded, as they are so wont to do. Spinning up top is Habel. Releases into the corner. Geyer will get there. The Czech goal scorer in this game. Drops off for Habel again. Good interplay in this Czech attack zone corner. Wagner back at the point to Habel. Centers, but that was wild beyond Novotny, and Lee will pick up. Lee Hong on. Chinese come forward shorthand on side, but just blowing a tire was Tian Jin Tao. But here's Wang shooting and a pad save along the ice by Kudela. Chinese four on five attacks home pressure, but here's Havel. Can the checks glide forward? Dropped off far side. Ohar. A little bit of space there. Nicely found is Wagner, but overskated just a little bit. I think it was Kubesh with the pass, actually. Kubesh might just pick up, but again, just beyond the puck. Had to reach behind himself as he's knocked into the near side wall. 43 seconds left to five on four time as Ohar will not be able to keep that puck in the Chinese zone. Does well to hold, wait for Kubesh to clear the ice. Big Chinese sandwich there as the home team able to play the puck all the way down to Martin Cudella. Tian Jin Tao just got away with a, a what could have been a hold on Geyer, who was looking to head to open ice. And both of them looked at the referee after the play, but no penalty on that one. Vesely out to center ice, but good swarming Chinese defensive coverage. Kui. Under his sled, but pass intercepted by Vaclav Hetchko. He celebrated his 27th birthday on the day of the group stage game against the Chinese as we are back to five aside. 421 left in the second period. A crunching hit by Zhu, but is that another team penalty? I think it might be. 
Czechs are going to have the extra skater in a moment as the whistle blows. Chinese ill discipline with the sleds with 4-11 left in the second period. Czechs again going on the power play, but still trailing the Chinese by two goals to one. So an elbowing penalty looks like uh, to Zhu Shan Fu. And there it is, right to the chin of Alex Ohar. He was out of the penalty box for 19 seconds, and now he's straight back in. Well, and you wonder, the officials talking to each other about this one a little bit. It's just going to be two minutes, but that might be the kind of play where you, you have a little chat with the player afterwards and say, that's a dangerous play. Be careful. There was the pad save along the ice by Martin Kudela. And you see Wang getting in. And the pad stack along the ice for Kudela, able to make the save. And the attack zone draw coming up for the checks in just a moment. Two one the Chinese advantage and the quick shot off the faceoff win by Novotny blocked away by G but the check still opportunity with the puck rolling away from the stick of Mikhail Geyer trying to score his second goal of the game it was a great shooting position but he wasn't able to pull the trigger and knocked on by Zhu Jin Shang into the check corner Impeded legally by Tian Jin Tao. 126 left of power play time for the Czechs. Wagner. That was not the cleanest passing move, but Geyer able to pick up and fire. It fires it well high and wide. Kubesh. He's crunched just in front of the Czech bench. The Czechs all wanted another elbowing call against the Chinese. Geyer swats the puck onward, but only as far as the sled of Zhu Jin Shang. Maybe an opportunity here, though. The shot parried. Vesely took it, and G stopped it again. Chinese. Here they come with the Czechs making a couple of changes. The race is on. Shen. Shen diverted wide of the net. That's great backtracking by Radek Zelenka. Puck in the corner of the Czech zone. It's still. Not where the Czechs want to have it. Played on off of a Chinese stick, so no threat of icing as back goes at Zhu to pick up against the four-checking Vesely. Not far sight, will just be kept in by Ohar. Ohar was lined up and crunched on the far side wall by Kui. But the Czechs shooting chance and the blocker save up over the glass. Ohar shot it, and G again saved it. Uh, you can see why the Czechs wanted to get Radek Zelenka back in the lineup because uh, he was obviously he's obviously an important part of their defense core. Just as we see the offensive chance on the other end of the ice. And Vesely boy it's hard to believe he's only 16 years old. Can't wait, can't wait to see him in uh, four years time. Say, he's definitely one to watch for the future. And the Czechs out shooting the Chinese 10 7. So many elements of their game plan are clearly happening the way that Jakob Novotny would want them to be, although that Chinese clearance could be dangerous. Quickly in, it's Shen. He's in all alone. Shen misses the net. He goes wide with the puck. He's still got it, though, trying to wrap in front. And where is it? Is it going to be covered? No. By Kudela. So we skate five aside once more. Shen is just something special to watch in those situations. He's so much faster than anyone else on the ice. It seemed like Wagner had a step on him, but he just closes the gap so fast. Shen Yifeng is still only 23 years of age. You wonder where these Chinese team will be in four years' time themselves for Milano Cortina. Near side wall pump there, the Norwegian referee Ove Lutka, and here's Shen again, but the puck, or the whistle has blown, and the Chinese bitterly complaining. Has there been an injury along the near side wall? Ohar isn't moving. Uh, there's someone down 
that we can't quite see by his uh, feet, I think. It's not Ohar. You see the chance there for Shen again. I think it's actually Krupichka. And Zdeny Krupichka. Had a fairly quiet game relative to his performance against the Chinese and the Slovaks when he scored his two goals in Group B. Well, he's in some difficulty. The 42 year old who was the flag bearer at the opening ceremony for Team Czech Republic, the entire team. But that whistle, Chinese felt it was premature because they had another clear goal scoring opportunity waved off. Obviously, you want to give these players as much benefit of the doubt as possible when it comes to potential injuries. Kupichka being attended in the Czech bench area. 135 left in the period. The faceoff draw one back to center ice a little bit too well by Team China. She goes backward, another big hit, but a penalty, I think. That's going to be Vesely, or Hechko rather, for teeing. So both teams committing teeing penalties, and this time the Czechs will go shorthanded with 123 left in the second. It's a lot of penalties in this game. You be the judge. Probably. Well, both teams had five power plays when they met back in the group stage. I think we're pretty close to those totals already here in this one. I lost track already. <laughs> You're trying to keep your own score over there, but I had uh, one job. <laughs> you got more than one job, but you can we can figure it out during the intermission, perhaps. As a little wry smile on the face of Jakob Novotny there. Chinese. Came into this game three for 11 on the power play. In this Beijing 2022 Bear Ice Hockey competition. Buck's gonna flop under the mitt of Kudela for a quick face off draw. Well, remember, Kudela was a bit of a question mark in this game, period. We, he was injured earlier. Uh, we weren't sure if he would get the start. Then we saw his name pre game listed as the starting goaltender. Thought, well, How's he doing? But he hasn't shown any signs of injury. Might be called into action again here. The draw one back to Zhu. There's Shen. Not sure if that was meant as a pass to Kui or a shot, but Kui will pick up in the far corner. Approaching the final minute of the period, this power play will wrap around into the third if it has to. But Liu trying to finish it with a goal straight away as Wang picks up. Trying to get around Habel. Wang. Bumped not very firmly by Kubesh. Nice seal there in the corner on Wang. Checks are able to find the puck and clear it right on target against G. With 35 seconds in the period. It amazes me the players in this tournament who can hit the net from 200 feet away. It's almost every game you see that. Just over 60 meters away as the yes. metric system preferred in the Olympics and Paralympics as we come forward with Shen again, but this time the Chinese disrupted on the offensive rush. So barely time with 10 seconds to go in the period for the Chinese to make an impact on the power play. And in fact, it doesn't look like going to try. Shen passes far side, but the clock will beat the Chinese here. Another entertaining period of hockey. The Czechs did very well, but the only goal of it scored by Tian Jin Tao. They assist to the Chinese captain, Kui Yu Tao, at the 529 mark of the period. The Czechs out shooting the Chinese in the middle period. But in the end, the Chinese, where it matters, they take the slim advantage into the final 15 minutes. You see confirmation, our score through two periods at the National Indoor Stadium, People's Republic of China 2, the Czech Republic 1. the stats for the second period actually six shots apiece Chinese coming back into the game in that regard 
late on in the second period. Plenty of power play chances for both sides. No power play goals as yet in the contest, but the Chinese having gotten only three shots on goal in the first period, they double that amount in the second. Still a very tight KG game, which could swing in either direction with 15 minutes left to go. Shea Ron Ron, one of the most popular characters around at Beijing these days. So the second period highlights all kinds of attention paid to number 17 there, Shen Yi Fang. Michael Geyer on the other side. Two similar kind of players who they try to find open ice and pounce. And the physical play continues, and the penalties as well. You've seen them on both ends of the ice. Team calls, elbow wing calls. And we've seen good chances too. That one didn't quite make it through. One. Just rips one wide of the net. Again, it was the setup by Shen Yu Fang. He shows he's not just a goal scorer, but he can be a setup man as well. And this time, the stick knocked out of the hands. That's one way to defend against Shen Yu Fang. They got a power play out of it. And finally. China gets rewarded. Chen Jin Tao scoring again, contributing every game in this tournament offensively. And he makes no mistake when he gets a chance in the slot to give his team a 2-1 lead. But that was it for the goals. Close after that. Kudela doing his job, getting help from his goal posts. Young 16-year-old Vesely doing his, and the veteran Xi Yan Zhao doing his. And Team China with a slight lead, 2-1 over the Czech Republic after two periods of play.
Another look at the Beijing Olympic Park area, north side of the city center. And on the left side of your screen, the little dim lights there, the curved roof of the National Indoor Stadium. So you take a look underneath, inside at ice level, where all the action has been happening in this second qualifying final. One of the most entertaining games of the tournament thus far. And still on a knife's edge, the Chinese leading the Czech Republic by two goals to one. But the Czechs showing every indication they still have a real chance of advancing to the semifinals. Lots of power plays in this game as well. Czech Republic has already had four. They are 0 for 4 at the man advantage. China will be working on its third power play when the second period begins. Interestingly enough, the shot totals favor the uh, 
the team from the Czech Republic just by a slight margin of 10 to 9. So they are really showing they can play with this speedy team from China that has been so impressive throughout the tournament. Wang Zhidong opening the scoring at even strength at the 648 mark of the first period for China. Michal Geyer pouncing on a loose rebound to slot home the equalizing goal for the Czechs at 806 of the first. And then the Chinese had to wait until the 529 mark of the second to retake the lead on the roofed shot by Tian Jin Tao over the top of Martin Kudela. See the Chinese goaltender Ji Yan Zhao. We didn't expect he would be the busier of the two goalies in terms of number of shots faced, but both he and Martin Kudela playing very, very well. Ron, don't forget Martin Cadella made a penalty shot save in the first period on uh, the dynamic Shen Yufang. That was maybe the turning point in a lot of ways, uh, even though, you know, China has scored since then. But just to kind of get the Czechs believing that uh, they have what it takes in between the pipes. Chinese came into this game very confident, already thinking about possibly meeting the United States or Canada in the semifinals. They must not overlook the threat that the Czechs pose in this game right here. But the winner of this contest will advance to the semifinal round. The loser will play in the fifth, sixth consolation game. And Kudela and G, which of them will be beaten next? Right? Give us the answer as to which side will be in the semifinals in two days' time. Checks shorthanded. Remember, Václav Hechko there in the penalty box. That is job one for the Czechs here. Kill off the Chinese power play. Puck is dropped. The Chinese win the draw. See what they can do as Shen forced to divert its center ice. The pass rolls away from Wong. Mike grasp it. Now Shen pounces. Shen quickly forward. Shen shoots and misses. He has not found the range since that penalty shot miss or penalty shot saved by Kudela. The Czechs can't beat Zhu at the left point. Shen, nice pass across. Wang in front on the doorstep. The shot saved, made. Rebound, they score! Shen Yi Fung, that's a different kind of goal for him in this competition, but it is his sixth in Beijing 2022, and the Chinese up by three goals to one over the Czech Republic. Well, you always knew it was going to be a high wire act when you keep taking pe uh, penalties against this team. And then Shen Yu Fang, as you mentioned, this time going to the net and getting rewarded after. Kudela stops the first, the rebound squirts right to number 17, and the little whirlwind puts it in. That was a really difficult finish, actually, reaching well behind himself, but in one motion, able to yank the puck just at the right angle to slide it along the ice. Underneath, Martin Kudela, Shen from Kui Yu Tao, and Wang Ji Dong, 29 seconds into the third period. And will that be enough? To see the Chinese through to the semifinals. Vesely, I don't know if he has anything to say about it. Checks forward, but Ohar had his progress disrupted. Vesely finds the puck, but saw the oncoming Kui Jianpeng and turned his sled away from the potential collision. Near side boards, the checks up to center ice, but no farther. The touch on from Hu. For the Chinese, back to Zelinka for the Czechs. He flips near side boards, fetching his hatch go out of the sin bin. He takes a tumble. Sliding the puck deep into his own zone was Tian, and now picking up is Kui Jian Peng. Kui has some pace himself as he comes out to center ice. Forward pass, it was grabbed by Tian. Tian shoots along the ice, and Kudela. Thought there might be a small gap at his left-hand post, but now the check's on the counter. Near side, Havel stops, centers and rolled off of Kubesh's sled. Havel might try and keep, he does, at least briefly. Puck pushed toward the corner. Near side, just touching Kui, but 
keeping Kuvesh at the point before Zhujan Fu picks up. Uh oh, just over skating. That was slightly dangerous. Novotny just couldn't make anything happen, though, so the Czechs forced back to their own line. Well, we did have the wet ice in one of the games, and they had to delay it about three or four minutes when the period began. I wonder if that's an issue here. Hobble miscontrolled. Chinese in their own zone. Shen shoves along, but missed that connection. Hobble down on his side trying to poke forward, but the Czechs <laughs> forced back again into the neutral zone. It's Wagner now. Scoops the puck onward. Zhu Fu away from the forechecking Novotny well. But the puck falls kindly for Zelenka. And the shot, they score! How about that? The Czechs countering. It's Vaclav Hedgeko lighting the lamp, and it's back to 3 2 in this game. Well, a lot of hard work in behind the net. That kind of by Novotny. And then here's O'Har makes a sweet little play to let it go to Hetchko. He goes right stick to left. And just like that, it's in the net. Hetchko scored against the Italians on opening day of this tournament. But that a much, much more important tally potentially to keep the checks. In the running for that semifinal place. Hetchko from Ohar at the 241 mark of the third. Plenty of time left. And how will the Chinese respond? They win the faceoff draw. Banked out to center ice, but Zelenka picks up and fires right back toward the net, just wide of G. Shen back. He's crunched by Vesely. Support as well from Dolezal for the Czech Republic. Dolezal does very well. Trying to gain the corner against the much, much faster Shen. Dolezal a bigger body, but can't slow Shen down. Shen able to get out to center ice, at least as far as Zelenka. Knocked right back in. Dolezal will try and scoot to the bench for a change as Zhu Jin Shang picks up. Pass forward is intercepted cleanly. Knocked down, though, was Ohar. He collides with his own player. The Chinese regain the puck. Long flip, looking for Shen. That could be icing, but will Shen get there in time? Icing waved off. Good job again. The speed of Shen causing so many problems in so many areas for the Czech Republic. Shen against Kubesh. Ohar struggling to push the puck forward. The Chinese back up top. Wang Jidong banks toward Shen. Shen against Wagner. Wagner just making enough contact to slow Shen down. He lost his stick and doing so in the shot. Fired wide by Zhu Zhan Fu, the defenseman coming in from the point. Skyer rims around to the far side. Wagner tangled up. Chinese at center. They again look to come forward. <laughs> Nifty little move there by Kui. Using the length of his Sled to trap the puck. That long shot, oh, just touched aside by Kudela. That was from a good 30 meters, and it nearly led to the fourth Chinese goal. But here the other end, it's Geyer. Geyer, that's a crunching hit. That was almost a team penalty. The bump administered by Hu Guanjian. Some loose lumber on the ice as Dolezal forced back. Zelenka didn't dare play the puck the first time of asking for a possible too many men on the ice penalty. Hobble will backtrack successfully with just under 10 minutes left in this qualifying final. Really, really good game. 3-2, the Chinese in front, but only just. And after a pair of goals, one for each team in this third period. Chinese now again. Nicely touched on, it's Zhu. Zhu shoots the same in, it goes in the air and over the crossbar. I think off the pad of Kudela. Checks now. Released back out to the neutral zone. Hetchko, the goal scorer for the Czech Republic in the third period, tried to pressure, but here once again is Zhu Jin Shang. Chinese now being hemmed back a little bit. Wagner. Does pretty well actually just outside the Chinese line. And forward comes Ohar. 
Far side of the ice, he's bumped into the wall. Ohar still retaining possession well, though. Checks trying to tie this game up right here. Kubesh, far side, knocking sleds with Zhu. And a long clearance that's going to go just on target. So Kudela has to play, no icing. Sticks to the far side wall very well. Wagner trying to clear beyond Novotny. Chinese keep in at the point, though. Some space coming near side. Liu tries to flip in front, but his pass was blocked down by Geyer. Long passage of play here. Only 8.19 left in the third. Chance now, maybe the Chinese. Good disruption there. Ohar has an outlet possibility. That was a little bit too long toward Novotny. No icing, so Novotny gives up the ghost. Clock starting to tick down toward the final whistle as Song Zhao Dong now. He lost out, but the Chinese coming forward through Hu. Hu Guangjian in left wing. Against Radek Zelenka. Good back checking from Zelenka. And there's Vesely. Vesely some space with the pass a little bit away from Geyer. So he decides to go back to the bench for a change as the puck finds its way to Zhu. Vesely for checks. Vesely wins the puck. Tries to clutch it against his body. Plays for it as Hetchko swoops in. Hetchko does well, but a good interception also below the goal line by the Chinese. Dangerous pass, but Wang flings forward and a possible two on one. It's Kui with Shannon support. Kui fires and misses. Don't think the passing angle was there for Kui Yu Tao. Checks can counter end to end action here at the National Indoor Stadium. Yeah, I guess so. Heavy hits on both sides. And uh, Hetchko out there just. He creates room because of all the hits that he's thrown in the game. And every once in a while, they just sort of give up the puck because it's him. Kubej was knocked down, but still forward to Palat. Palat, great centering pass, but just rolling away from Zdena Krupichka. Left his stick on the ice without the puck as the Chinese play the other end of the ice for an icing call with only 6.32 left in the third period. Puck's going to come back into the Chinese zone for the faceoff. Well, you mentioned a, a long sequence, and that was definitely that. I don't know how long we went, three, four minutes without a, uh, a whistle. Just fur furious action, both ends of the ice, and furious hits on both ends of the ice. you got to keep your head up in this game. A look at that. You take one, and then your team gets a chance on the other side of the ice. So sometimes you got to take a hit. Chinese forced to keep their complement of players on the ice. We've been due for a break in the play for quite a while, but we must continue after the icing. And as Wang Dong, their face-off expert for the Chinese, he doesn't quite win that draw. Checks losing a stick, and oh boy, here come the black shirts forward. It's Shen. Just took it a little bit wide, tried to center, but it goes behind the cage. And goaltender interference is going to be called on Zhu Fu as he crashed into Kudela. So the Czechs will have a power play chance. They trail 3-2 in the third period. 6-12 to go in the qualifying final. Definitely what you don't want to happen if you were uh, with Team China. You know, you apply all that pressure. You have a what should have been a three-on-one situation. And instead of uh, getting a scoring chance out of it, you make that mistake, run into the goaltender, and you're shorthanded on the play. And it's the third successive Chinese penalty committed by Zhu Fu. He threw a stick or any object, then he had an elbowing penalty, and now the interference. So it's the Chinese, I suppose, are used to being without him for the penalty kill. There was the goal scored by Shen Yi Feng. And that the difference between the two teams at the moment after the goal scored by Hetchko for the Czechs. Probably the biggest uh, segment of play for Team China in their really their history. Massive moments coming up. Czechs have never finished higher than fifth in a Paralympic Winter Games 
para ice hockey tournament. The semifinals beckon if they can score here. And Geyer, the setup, the chance, the shot, the score! Miroslav Navani ties the game up with 5.59 to go. So cool, so calm, so collected. Novotny finishes it off. Geyer just slips him the pass. All the hard work done along the boards. Hobble digs it free. Then Geyer, he sees Novotny. Just that little move to go to the outside fools Xi Yan Zhao. And he fires it home. They come back from two goals down. And Novotny and the Czechs have tied this game. Goodness gracious me, Novotny from Geyer and Habel at the 9.01 mark. And so, a brand new para ice hockey game at the National Indoor Stadium. Who is going to blink first now? Checks with back to back goals. Coming a shade over seven minutes apart here in this third period, but it feels like they came closer to each other than that just because we've had so few whistles in the third as Gaia racing forward gets into the corner first but he's bumped there by Wang Ji Dong and now Liu across but first to it will be Ohar centered toward Navani but that's going to come all the way back down into the check zone racing backwards Muzalenka High off the glass. That should be icing against the Czechs unless they can win the race, but they won't because, of course, it's Shen on the chase backwards for China. Not a lot of races won when your opponent is uh, number 17, Shen Yu Feng. But boy, the Czechs have fought well, checked him well, and they checked his teammates well. And here we are with a tie game with under five and a half to go. Face-off draw to the left of Martin Kudela. 13 shots to 12 in the game for the Chinese. The relatively low save percentages did not mean the goaltenders aren't playing well, by the way, as there, Kudela sprawling. Blocker along the ice, pushing over to Dolezal. Plays forward just beyond Vesely. Picking up will be Li Hongguan for China. Vesely, though, such an impressive four-checker in this game and in this tournament. Long outlet pass, that's picked off well at center ice. The Czechs can now maybe feel a little bit more like they can execute their initial game plan. Ohar just over the line. Hetchko a big hit, but the puck popping back to the red line. Hetchko a big hit had to be part of their game plan. <laughs> He's had quite a few tonight in this game, I should say. Pass, that's too far for Song Zhao Dong, so the Czechs can clear. Just as far as the Chinese line, again to Tian Jin Tao. He was disrupted. Nice work there by the Czechs to keep the puck in the Chinese zone. That was Geyer's work. Below the goal line, the Czechs playing with renewed purpose and vigor. Hobble just lost out to Hu Guangjian. Thanks out towards Shen. Shen, though, was slowed down by Wagner, but still a chance for Song. Song against Kubesh, but Kubesh, oh, he actually banked it off the sled of Song Zhao Dong. It could have gone anywhere. Right behind the goal line, the Chinese still in possession. Maybe a snapshot off the goal post. So close for Tian Jin Tao to making it 4-3 for China. Chinese chance still coming from the stands here at the National Indoor Stadium. Into the near corner, Kubesh winds around past the point and Zhu Jian Fu. No icing. Three and a half minutes left in the third. Sudden death overtime could be on the horizon in which we'd skate four on four. You can tell straight away who that would likely favor with the Chinese speed open ice advantage as Shen, he doesn't want it to go to overtime. He's going to skate forward left wing. Surely has the beating of Dolezal as well as Zelenka. Into the corner, drags all the way around to the near side. Feels like overtime already. Famous last words, what can the Chinese do here? Near side, Zhu and Kui, but the puck played beyond Vesely as far as Zhu Jinshang. Inside the final three minutes of regulation. 
Pass back to Zhu Jin Shang. It's the first goal of the tournament in which both teams have scored at least three goals, by the way. Zhu at center ice. He was spilled. Shen picks up, and he's going to try and get around Ohar, which he does, but checks making sure they've got at least two bodies on Shen everywhere he goes at the moment. Shen down, attended to by Zelenka. There's Wang picking up, or leaving in the end in the corner for Shen. 2.09 left in regulation. Shen again goes down. This is exactly how the Czechs want to see Shen, not flying down the ice on his sled blade, but instead tied up below the Czech goal line. Shen nearly bludgeoning his way in front. The puck is loose. Where is it? They score! Wang deep in the check zone and the Chinese back in front four goals to three how did that get into the net I'm sure the Czech Republic asking the same question that shouldn't have gone in they'll say all this behind the net it seemed like this play was all but over but just the second and third effort of Shun Yu Fang Creates the opportunity for his teammate. And as they have done throughout the tournament, the one-two punch, Wang Zhidong snipes the goal to give China the lead with 1.51 to go. Okay, now it doesn't feel like overtime because the Czechs still have a chance. They do, but I think we might just have an official review to confirm the goal. You have to be so impressed, though, by Shen getting the assist. He emerged from the tangle below the goal line, found the puck, made the pass, set it up on a plate for Wang. Still had to finish it. Let's take a look. What are they checking to see if Kudela had the puck covered, maybe? Was he interfered with? I don't see anything there. Um. What could they be looking at right now? Uh, any one of those squares. <laughs> you pick one. I think it's the referee's job to pick one, then we can see what he's looking at. It, are they checking if there's contact on Kudela, maybe? Or that he couldn't get to the play. Mm. I don't think so. Wow, that looks like a good goal to me. It's a fairly quick review by Ove Lutke, the Norwegian referee. Mask comes off, helmet goes back on. If he points to center ice, that means it is 4-3. And there you go. He knows the camera's on him. <laughs> Little drama. Not every fan in this building, I think, understands fully the nuances of a video review like that, but they see the decisive gesture, and they know what it means instinctively. Wang from Shen with just under two minutes remaining. And let's see when... And if Martin Kudela comes off for an extra skater. Right now, though, it's Wang again. Good little breather by that video review as he's crunched. Backtracking was Havel. 138 left between China and their first Paralympic semifinal place. It's their first Paralympic Winter Games in para ice hockey. This team has really gelled together, winning the B-level World Championship last year in some style. Kudela's not going anywhere as icing was waved off. Wagner far side. The Czech still with a chance. Wang slotted around towards Geyer. Couldn't do anything with the puck. With 108 left in regulation. Chinese clear. That will go down the length. And I don't think it's going to be icing. It's a very quick whistle. With 62 seconds on the clock. While well, the... Nikolai Sharshukov, the coach of China, not happy at all with the call. Timeout call by the Czech Republic, no surprise. A 60-second timeout taken by Jakob Novotny. To just regroup and figure out what to do here. Face-off draw is going to be back in the Chinese zone. It was a very quick icing call. It certainly looked like the Chinese were going to win the race to the hash marks. Let's take a look at the goal again. Oh, he lifts the stick of Ohar. That was the key moment of that play.
Given some latitude to do that. We can't make it that obvious. Stick on stick contact, but we can just disrupt the opposition a little bit. And the check net appears to be empty. They are going to put all their eggs in the one basket of six on five hockey. Cordella is off the surface. Huge faceoff draw coming up, and it's Wang Zhidong, of course, to take it for the Chinese. Wang is 13 of 18 in faceoff draw wins in this game. Such a weapon for the Chinese to have. Can he win another key draw here? That he does. Kept the Chinese clearance, but there's Geyer to the near side boards to intercept. Nicely worked to Kubesh. Kubesh slides along a little bit too far, but Geyer picks up with 48 seconds left. Geyer drops off. Havel shoots, but it trickles wide off a deflection. The hit by Vesely in deep. Kubesh also pinching way in from the point. Kubesh flips back toward the point. It's going to beat Hedgeko back to center ice with half a minute on the clock. Checks must quickly scurry back to center. Turn forward. Knocked down by Kubesh, but intercepted by Kree, and he clears down the ice. Checks maybe have time for one more desperation rush forward. Scoop to Geyer, but he's forced to backtrack. Ten seconds on the clock. Chinese crowd starting to go crazy. The puck pushed forward. The Czechs are going to run out of time. And Team China will be in the Paralympic Paradise Hockey Semifinals. A team that was formed in 2017 is going to the semifinals at the Paralympic Winter Games. Incredible elation on the ice in this group of players. And that clearly the tightest game the Chinese have experienced. They were taken right down to the wire, and you have to feel for the Czechs. They did just about everything they could to slow down this vaunted Chinese offensive attack. But in the end, the Chinese get the late goal, and they, not the Czechs, advance to the semifinals. Four goals to three at the National Indoor Stadium in Beijing. Well, that man played his heart out, Martin Kudela. Penalty shot save early in the game. His teammates all played their hearts out as well. They're still going to battle for fifth place in this tournament. But their chance at a medal is, uh, is gone. And their chance at improving upon their best ever finish. Fifth in Vancouver and in Sochi in the pair of ice hockey competitions. Unfortunately, that's gone too, but they have lit up this Paralympic Winter Games with their performance here today. They have every reason to be proud. They battle the Chinese right down to the wire. There you see the stats for the game. The Chinese eventually outshooting the Czechs 16-12. Both teams getting a power play goal in the end. The Chinese, their face-off advantage, it did tell in the final stages of the game. Despite their ill-discipline, the 10 penalty minutes against only four for the Czech Republic, the Chinese able to just sneak over the line and get into that semifinal place in this para ice hockey tournament at Beijing 2022.
There is the brackets confirmed for the semifinals. Canada will play Korea in one semi. China against the USA. What a matchup that's going to be. All the Chinese speed against the United States skill and plenty of speed themselves. China by the narrowest of margins defeating the Czech Republic in the qualifying finals to reach their first para ice hockey semifinal. Question the game of the tournament thus far in para ice hockey at the National Indoor Stadium in Beijing. The goal scored by Wang Zhidong, his second of the game, with only 151 remaining, helping the Chinese squeak past the Czech Republic. Four goals to three in the second qualifying final. China through to their first Paralympic ice hockey semifinal. They will face the United States of America in a mouthwatering matchup. Chinese pushed right to the brink by a valiant and scrappy Czech team. But the Chinese get what they came for, the semifinal berth at Beijing 2022.